playing that safely against a bat? You know, is it enough to rely on the spear to push him back, or you just you have some spells to push him back, but it's yeah. it's hard. You you you, you hate yeah. being turn rate slowed, but let's see what they do. I think it's better for them if the Slark does go mid. It would it also looks, make yeah. more sense as to why they did pick that hero. They're, do, they're um, doing that. They're I, doing that. I yeah. think four stabs might have to be very important in this game because if any of your allied heroes get ice blasted, well, it it's a hard counter to Slark and DP, right? I don't need to explain why. I'm sure everyone mm -hmm. knows this. The problem is if you're lassoed, you can't get forced out, but you still need to you need to try to create conditions where you either well, you need to disrupt this combo of bad AA. Like, if this clips your Slark, he can't fight. If it clips your DP, he can't fight either. But at least for now, you know, Liquid, they have maybe a draft that doesn't look incredible on paper against what Entity have. That At least that's something I would say. But they have a lot of tempo in the early games. They have some potential lanes that can go very well for them. But that is absolutely their condition to take this game into their favor. They need to lane well, play fast, and then try to collapse and slow down this bad rider in this early game. Let's have a look. This is going to be very, very exciting to see. You know, an entity with, without a doubt, you know, getting their hands on this this lineup of heroes that we just, it feels like we've seen them play time and time again. And Liquid, very different approach, different style here to what they tried in game one. And also different positions. Having Matu take the Slark mid, and Nikkei taking the Mars to the safe lane. Bit of early action here. Attempt to go for Stormstormer's life. He has the fairy fire. See if they can stay on top of him. They can't. Stormstormer's going to be fine. Gets up to the high ground. Gets away. Hooks Hook. there onto Matuba Man. Pure. He's only just gone and got himself first blood. Fish he's, he's looking for the deny to roast. <laughs> oh, and he's able no. to get it. Well, that certainly not the start that Liquid would have hoped for coming into this game too. As they'll get nothing. And Entity, they get first blood for Pure. Remember guys, first pick one every game. Just keep saying it. Just keep saying it. Don't worry. Liquid will win this game. First pick has not lost between these two teams. That's true. Yeah. Because right now you, you yeah. need to pump in the copium, especially after what's happened with the hook and the roach. That is, uh, yeah, quite a, 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 yeah, an emotional start that you, you, if you're liquid, you definitely didn't need after what happened at the end of game one. Well, let's definitely see. Let's see how so. these lanes go down. I mean, so mid lane Matsu slark against the, the bat should. Be totally fine, right? Should get easy farm. It's just a very farm heavy lane, I think, between mm -hmm. both players. It's also one of those matchups where, as bad, you shouldn't even skill flame break. Just go levels and sticky firefly. You you get your own game going yep. because you shouldn't bank on like some strange kill. You just get really fat, and then eventually in the game, um, you're you're still quite annoying for the uh, slark. They have a lot of like random damage flying around, right, with the the patch rod, firefly stuff like this, and. There's always chances where you can also catch the Slark off guard with a lasso later on. So mid lane, just very farm fest. And down bottom, you know, obviously having the the, the Mars, you know, Mickey taking it to the safe lane position. How is his, uh, is it going to be for him down here? Is this a simple lane for the Mars, or, or could that be? A so shift? I would definitely expect Liquid to win this matchup because yep. you have uh, Eng. If you so they, they picked Eng in this draft over a lot of other supports and the main reason for what we could see at least at that point is because it counters a lot of these heroes uh, in the game with the wave shove but also with the laning stage. So I think Insania, he's going to be the difference maker bottom. Also Eng loves to play with heroes as mid. We have a little pounce on Stormstormer dropping very low but barely makes it out with his 18 HP. But back to the Eng. Eng loves to play with heroes that can actually help you with you know all this pressure you deal on the enemy heroes, right? You keep clicking them, you have a creep, then you have a slow. So all these like PAs, juggernauts, and in this case Mars, they lane very well with Eng. So I would expect Liquid to definitely win this bottom lane. Yeah, looks like so far so good here for Mickey on the CS. Top of the board right now with the last hits. And then top, I guess, uh, if Entity had a more killing support uh, instead of AA, I would favor their lane. But I think in this lane, if Entity uh, go even, they should be quite happy because this AA is going to have an insane impact in the game. Like, you don't pick this hero to necessarily uh, win the lane. But, like, if you go even with this hero, that's already considered a win as Fishman. Taking quite a bit of beating from Boxy, but it shouldn't matter too much because Pure, he just kind of won solo XP in the lane. As we said, they can't really combine their heroes all that well unless they hit an insane hook into the cold feet to score a kill. So if they just get to farm, as I said, then they're pretty happy. Pure. 
Yeah, set up top. Flash even one. Lovely spell, by the way. Everything's fine. Oh, Siphon deals blocked. like no damage for some reason, but it's okay. Yeah, it's up. fine. Yeah, them fine up here. I mean, about 15 for 6 against the 13 for 4. Pretty much trading farm up there. Biggest difference at the moment uh, being the other two lanes. Mickey, 20 for 4 against Toby's 11 and 3. Uh, sorry, bottom lane. And Mickey, I think in mid. But obviously on the, the mid this time, Matsu, Matumba man. 18 for 9 against the 11 for 5. So very much feeling that strength that the, the Slark has against the bat yeah. in the sense that he really doesn't care about the sticky stacks. Also nice job by them. There's not going to be any water rune for Stormstormer. And I do think especially with the start that Matu is having, uh, having where he's winning the lane as we have a hook on side top. He's going to TP. Um, so with, with the start he's having, I definitely want the supports to play uh, with Matu in the early game, as I touched on before. This bad rider is just key to the entity's draft. Like you can let the Pudge have a good game; it's it's gonna be okay. But it's more important that you speed up your Slark and you screw the bat as top lane's eye. It's having so to be a, whittle around. A rough time to die. He has used the TP. See the Foxy head over to help out, and indeed Zai will be saved. Let's get brought down rather low, but still a couple of tangos to bite through. Should be fine. Good bailout by Boxy too. Yeah, if, if Zai dies there, that is just devastating, right? He has no TP. He's gonna come back to the lane and die again, but Might he has no again. siphons now. See if they can get him this time round. They can, that's Zai out. TP will be back up 10 seconds after he respawns. So either way, out of the lane for a bit. Bottom lane, Toby getting gone upon. Mickey. Oops. And Asenia will be able to find him. So the, the bottom lane and the mid lane continue to go very, very well here for Liquid. Oh, maybe even more. A, bit of a, Beautiful uh, a, a different situation. Indeed, Insania, he'll be, he'll be the one uh, to take the last hits on these. Double kill for him down bottom. All right, v very nicely done by Liquid. Of course, Zai maybe, you know, not having the best one, but, you know, luckily for him, his other two lanes are doing very well. Matu hits six, Power Rune is up soon. And Liquid, especially with Eng, you know, doing so well in the bottom lane, it's going to free him up to go mid, and it's good for them to move both the supports here as they are. I mean, both teams doing the same thing, but Liquid should definitely be stronger in this fight if they put the heroes together, which they are, Fishman. I'll be able to get some kills. So at the same time, Storm Stormer, he's got his eyes on Insania. Back with the flame break. You see Matu head over to help out. He's in on top of the Katsomi. Spike Carapace there, but it will come to an end. Boxy trying to block Katsomi off. Turn with the stun, but it doesn't matter. Matu Nicely gets done. the dark act off. Another kill for him. Matu having an excellent start here as the mid slark. They're they're doing great, and they should keep doing this. Like bang on the slark right now. He's owning. If another enchant on Storm Storm, it should be fine though. The Wild Wing has no spell. But I would love to just see Ensh and Boxy, just Insane and Boxy, just play together. Uh, I believe top, they don't have too many kill conditions up there. They can keep playing with their Slark, maybe eventually rotate down to Mickey when he has this arena. Um, I mean, I was going to say that they don't have too many, too much kill potential on Pudge, but if Pure is half HP, then maybe there will be something. Oh, we're going to see if they get the chance to get in under the tower for him. The rest of Entity being kept, sort of held around the mid lane, Insania out with the pressure of the creeps. Matu. He should be fine, Top. Okay, mid. Gonna make a bit of an aggressive move here. Has the Shadow Dance, making sure that Storm Storm is not able to find that turnaround lasso opportunity. I see Storm Storm look towards uh, Insania instead. Fishman getting brought down very low by Insania's harassment. Continue pressure for Liquid around this mid lane. Start to build a bit of a lead now. Seven minutes, four for two. Insania starting to pull ahead at the, here with Liquid. At the bottom lane, Toby and Mickey. They've got to be careful. I mean, Mickey does have the six. So they do want to bring a plus one down here. Could look for kill opportunity. They're, they're doing a good job right now, Liquid. Um, they understand that they need their side lanes to be six to then make plays there. Also, Mickey getting some harass off and mid lane again. Power rune, so both teams. Gonna look to rotate the heroes there, try to make sure Bad doesn't get the rune. Let's see, 50-50. This Stormstormer will get himself a DD rune, but even so, like if we look at the net worth right now, Matu is having a very sick game. He's leading the, the yep. net worth chart. He also got himself a sentry mid. They will keep making sure that Entity don't have vision on the mid lane. And this is 
just like a nice abuse of the entity support duo. Uh, AA, Nyx, both just heroes that give you a lot of game impact, but they're, they can definitely be played around in the early game, as we can see here. They're not very good at rotating, they don't protect you all that well, and they, they need levels. So I think right now, Entity, they need to kind of, you know, they're, they're playing damage control until like minute 10. And once they get this Ice Blast up and running and the Vendetta, they're going to start to kind of regain control as top. The TP is immediately coming in here for Pure. As Liquid, they tried to make a go on him, but Entity just turn up in their numbers and they're ready to turn things. They get the Spike Carapace onto Zai into the Lasso. And see if they can finish him off, keep to the edge and they get the damage in. Zai goes down, the exorcism put to an end, same time down bottom, Liquid. And we'll look to find something in return as they catch Toby in the arena. Maximum Man swings down to get the kill and get another permanent stack. Yeah, nice turn play by Liquid on bottom. Also nice return from Entity up top with their TPs. I would say Liquid slightly overplaying their hand up top, but I think Pudge is just this type of hero who's deceptively tanky. Like, you're playing this DP with Siphon and Exo, you think you're just gonna, yeah, we're gonna easily kill this guy, but then he pops Flesh Heap. You don't end up killing him, they TP with the dismember and turn the turn the game around. I would still like for Liquid to mainly have their eyes on like around the Slark. You can connect to the Mars when he has arena, but other than that, use the Slark. Like when Matu runs in this deep, help him out, pop him some sentries, try to slowly get some towers down. Uh, you know, keep keep up the tempo as they did last game and just speed up this Matamba man's um diffuser blade. It's gonna be key for them to win this game. A nice hold of the stun there, Katsumi. Make sure he's able to play around the dark pack. Get that full duration stun off onto Matsu so he can step back to safety. Radiance middle tower is under attack. So who's oh. taking the tome on Entity? It's the AA, I assume. Yeah, he's getting it. It's coming right now. So Katomi, he's not going to be having his vendetta for a little bit, which I believe is okay. The Ice Blast is just going to have more impact in this type of game to potentially score a kill on the Slark, keep their DP away from pushing your towers all too much. And I believe soon Entity would like to play a little bit through their, uh, their Visage. I think they very often have these type of lineups where they can't do too much in terms of connecting with their cores. Like when this Beastmaster in the last game, when he had a good game, he will take the tower alone. It's similar to the Visage here. When he loses its lane, you can't really rotate here all too well, especially because your Bad Rider wants to farm his travels, your Pudge wants to farm creeps, and you have two very slow supports. So again, it's going to be Liquid in the driver's seat. They're going to tempo up the game, do as much as they can, and they need to get more done than they did last game. Yeah. Because these entity heroes, they scale in an insane manner. I cannot stress it enough. But for now, they're, they're doing just that. And the Diffuser is coming out soon on Matu. And Slark is not an easy hero to play into from behind. Because similar to what Entity was able to do last game, where they shut down your map, it's one of the easiest things to do with Slark. Matu. You get caught by the bite top. And get the Shadow Dance off. Still Pure stand on top of him with the rock. Won't quite be able to connect the hook onto Matu. Does opt for the immediate TP there after the, the missed opportunity to maybe get that kill on Slark. Okay, Exo forced. Actually, a very close call there on, on Mato initially. Uh, good reaction by Pure to uh, TP out pretty much on an instant. The pounce was still on a bit of cooldown as now they're gonna smoke up. Exo is down. Ice Plus is available. Bottom lane though. I mean, they're trying to make a, an attempt here for Toby. Backup's going to come in as Fishman. He's able to land down the Ice Plus. Got the two of them. Toby will die. See if Fishman has enough damage on his own to push Mickey past the, the threshold to shatter. And not quite. Infuse Range up. Takes him from that last bit of an uh, attack with the, the right click. So get the, the big kill in return. And mid lane. Tower goes down. Liquid. Continuing to get these early objectives to a similar fashion that they were able to in game one. Catch in the mid. Sans nice is there violence. to help out. Match is thinking about maybe getting back in on this one, but the lasso's dropped down onto Insania. Insania still alive, though. Finally falls to the damage of Fish, man. Liquid are doing the right things. They got the top tier one, they got the mid tier one. Now they have this defusal also right before that. They got a kill on the Visage. They're pressing bot a bit. And now I love the smoke as well. They're just going to keep up, you know, the tempo of the game. They let Zai farm top with others Exo. He's not strong. Let him hit Creeps. But your strong hero, this Slark, use him to shut down the game of Entity here. They're looking for a play on Toby. He's playing very safe. 
definitely doing a nice job. And here, even Katomi in the Vendetta spots out the Slark. So let's see how hard Liquid want to try and force something here. Ice Blast. I'm gonna try and set something up here. Nice blast. We'll pass over Matt and Mamat. Shatipi's coming in. They'll try with the hook, but Box is already out with the roll away. T. Still looking to chase on towards Asania, but they don't want to quite continue this up to the high ground of Liquid. Well played by both sides. If Liquid don't lose any numbers here, that's definitely very good for them. Entity, as we can see from their positioning on the map, they're all stuck down here bottom now. In the meantime, Zai getting some very needed space up top. He's trying to work on this BKB mid lane. We have a roll in from Boxy. Very easy Katomi reaction there with the spike carapace. Boxy. Gets any backup, he will. Boxy does go down, but the arena and spear combo locks down pure. Matu trying to continue to push on with the shadow darts. He's a little cautious about how he commits that with the backup that pure does have in the form of Fishman and Stormstormer. It'll just be the one for one. I think that was the blink reveal by Mickey. Definitely a nice job. The overall idea there was to like start a fight and have your teammates come over. It initially looks pretty stupid by Boxy, but once you see that there's actually some communication, because it's a team game, his team comes over, they drop their spells, get to reveal the blink. And again, we can see how low Matu is dropping in these fights, even to, you know, just like some random punch rod, maybe a firefly later too, because there was no ice blast here. As Matu, aggressively in enemy jungle, gonna deal with some wards. They might try for it. I mean, Katom is in position. Nice Got dark the opening packs. stun, the dark pact. Already prepared there by Matu. More than happy to spam it, especially when he had the arcane going. I think he could tell. It's it's pretty hard for Nyx to set up on Slark, right? Because your Shadow Dance uh, gets procced. Basically, you uh, turn slower, you know, when they see you. So you're either on a ward there or the Nyx is on you. So good reaction by Matu to get out of that. Toby, a little deep down bottom. I'm not sure he's going to get much help on this one. I don't think so. Very, very quickly dead. Now maybe even able to find more as Matu. He's already in on top of Storm Stormer. They'll put the Shadow Dance. Matu's able to push on the hook. I mean, that may only just benefit Matu. No yeah, they've blast. got to run away from this Slark. They do not want to try and take this fight entity with two men down. 10 to 7, Liquid keeping the lead here at 2k. I love the way that uh, Matu is playing this game. He is really pushing his limits, not only of his hero, but his net worth and also the hero matchups. He keeps running in as deep as possible. He's de-warding Vision, getting him getting him and his team, you know, more map control. Gets deep on the bad rider because, again, Entity are kind of playing the strat where, yeah, the longer the game goes in an even state, the better for them. But they're definitely playing more so on the back foot right now. They can't fight back too, too easily. They need, like, a clean stun into an Ice Blast or, like, a good hook. And until then, they're just going to keep farming creeps, kind of similar to last game, Storm Storm on his bad rider. Just gonna keep pushing out waves with his uh, travels. Hopefully, eventually he gets towards his BKB or blink, score a kill or two, and then slowly their timings are gonna start to come together and the game gets easier. But for now, Liquid playing really well and they, once again, they wanna keep up this tempo and so far they're playing beautifully. Thanks to, to be complete here by Pierre. All the chaos going on, he's still been very much Right up there at the top net worth, level with Mickey's Mars. Let's see if they can maybe try and find a chance to fight with this new pickup, Katomi. Getting the setup, pure. He'll have the follow up. Not a chance there for Insania. Entity going for a smoke. They don't have the clearest jump. It's it's gonna make the gank perhaps a little awkward because again you do have this ice blast that when it does clip people it makes it very easy for you to kill them but you don't have some blink initiate you don't have a faceless void chrono this time around that is gonna lock them down or a bad rider with a blink so i'm not sure how much this smoke is gonna net them as they run into matu Ooh, not quite able to get the hook there matu quick with the sidestep the shadow dance extra movement speed to dodge the hook coming in So I wonder if Liquid want to wait. So they did just finish their BKB on DP. So if Zai, even if he gets Ice Blasted right now, there's definitely a couple of timings for Liquid um, because he's still very tanky. It's still 1700 HP with Magic Immunity. So even if he gets clipped, sure he doesn't heal, but there's not too much right click damage coming out from Entity just yet. Uh, Mickey is working toward, towards his BKB and Matu's closing in on an Ags. Um, I still think 
that Liquid want to Radiant not just keep up the tempo, play fast. Maybe you wait for this level 2 Exo on Zai and then you force a Roshan, but I feel like you don't really need to wait. Any minute that passes by like this is good for Entity, so I would just like for them to seek a fight as they do now. They smoke up and they have a beautiful ward down bottom that Entity are playing in. They're currently running away, so again, maybe Entity just sniffing out this play as they back off at a great time. Like it'll be easy for Liquid to catch them by surprise here. If you catch no one, just give this mid wave to Zai. Let him get level 12 and, and go for his roll chest. Tell me. Sam, that he does step into the wave. See if they can attempt any sort of save for him. They cannot. It's taken out. Liquid, they will find a catch towards the end of that smoke. Alright, let's go. Go kill a creep camp. Give Zai his level 2 ult, and then they either smash this top tier 2 tower or they, they go for Roach. Either way, it's uh, it's objective time for sure for Liquid. And then again, you know, we, we, we saw last game one a pretty similar state at, at this sort of timing. I mean, when you consider what Liquid have this time round, is this another draft that can just get blown up completely if they have one sort of rough team fight? Uh, for, for instance, like I say, the Rosh, uh, around the Roshan area. Or, or do you think there's the potential for this one to be a bit more stable? That even though they don't have a huge lead, if they take a rough fight or two, they'll still be able to persevere a bit better than they were able to in game one. I think they should have been able to persevere a bit better in game one regardless. But yeah, yeah I think yeah. in this game, if they lose one fight, it, yeah. it's not instantly over. It's not who has his eggs. He's going to show it here on Fishman. Oh, That's a nice attack range, sir. Wait, what's going <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was a long one. That was almost as if he missed out on the kill because he stepped away, yeah. but he only stepped away because he knew he was going to be able to reach over sort of all the summoned skeletons and still get the last hit. <laughs> yeah, Easy pretty much. So he gets himself another stack, shows off his Aghanim, so now the double pounds. Definitely going to make it easier for him to maneuver uh, in these fights and also around the Ice Blast. So now, again, I'll say Liquid right now and following like the next five to ten minutes is going to be one of their strongest timings in this entire game, so they want to keep going. They did take the Roche in the meantime, during the bottom kill with the Exo, Stormstorm are going to try to delay this a bit. And right now, if you're Liquid, nothing is really stopping you. So you either A, you hit this top tier 2 tower, and if you feel like Entity don't deserve anything on the map, you can show one guy here and smoke the rest already. Because their Entity is still, they are not ready to fight. Stormstormer does have a BKB. I mean, actually, as I say that, they do finish two BKBs, so Entity are probably going to look to smoke up themselves. I thought they were a bit further away, but Pure is rocking this net rift chart. My he's lord. He's super farmed. I mean, moments ago, he was he was kind of at the same stage as Mikke, but yeah, suddenly those last few few bits, he's been able to farm up that extra 1,000 gold lead. And now, indeed, even though Liquid are the ones with the Aegis Entity, willingly stepping into them there, they want to try and catch Liquid by surprise. Liquid... Maybe not not gonna expect this. Jump forward. Just down here with the Aegis. We'll see pure turn. It would be able to get the bite out. Onto the DP, but the BKB's spells. already out there. Throwing the lasso as well onto Zai. And no further damage to come through that BKB. So Zai will be able to step out to the, the edge of the fight. Pure himself pots the BKB, gets on top of Mikkei. See if they can at least take the Aegis out of his hands. They can. As Mikkei down the once. So they can do anything after the Aegis has been removed from the Mars. Now Liquid. Willingly nice jumping fear. back into this. I mean, Mikkei's still got his BKB. Good to go. On top of Pierre, Matu jumps in towards Toby. We'll look for the temporary reset as he pounces back out of the fight. Pure, he's running them down. Oh my and this God. Rot, it's killing them all. Matu's got to run. I mean, that you can't mess with this punch. You know, once again, very much Pierre just being able to run them down one by one at the end of that fight. It, it looked like it was going okay for Liquid. I think Liquid themselves, they thought, all right, we may have lost the Aegis, but we still have BKB on Mars. Let's get ourselves back in there. But then Tenth. suddenly, they're just all dying to the Pudge. <laughs> he did 10,000 damage. Okay. I mean, that. Uh, you know, there you go. That's why they didn't smash over this entire fight with Liquid. They have yeah. these Ags on him. They have the Ice Vortex on Fishman. Even here, you can see there's a hook on the inch. They dismember Zai. They yeah. lasso him. I the Ice Blast is still there. So he gets Ice Blasted. I mean, I guess that one kind of missed. But anyway, they're using like all their spells on the DP, who doesn't end up dying against Aegis, and they're still winning the fight. Yeah. It seems, I think the condition for Liquid to win these fights is that 
Matu needs to be able slash allowed to hit and keep up these stacks. But as we touched on before, it's not that simple as I'm making it, you know, sound. There's this Ice Vortex, Ice Blast, the 5 million AoE rot that is constantly <laughs> clipping you. He gets oh, a little man. low, but at this stage, he's just running them down, the rot's on, and Liquid's out. Okay, Liquid need to deal with the subs in the fight. I think Mickey with the... I'm okay if they wait for Mickey to finish up the Desolator. I think it's a very, very good item in this game. It will help you deal with all the heroes, obviously, because it gives you more damage and minus armor, but specifically because most of the entity heroes don't have very high armor to begin with. AA is going to get tracked, Nyx is going to get tracked, and the most important thing are the supports in the entity lineup, actually. Their lineup will fall apart if you do get to kill these supports. Some cool center stomp in the mid lane. Looks cool. Whoa! <laughs> Bounce into hook. I like it. I see Matu. We'll be going for that BKB next. I mean, very much necessary against this insane amount of magical damage that MCs yeah. do do to those that step close to them. Okay, Mika has Blink, BKB, Deso. I, if Liquid want to fight, yep. or if they want to win a fight, they need to smoke go around and have uh, Mickey jump the supports. I think that is the best thing they can do. Visage and the supports or just the supports. You arena this AA and try to make sure that the Ice Blast doesn't get, you know, used in a nice way for Entity. You either clip him I'm fast or make him instant use. Last gets the spells. Pack that to remove the lasso. I mean, pure. He's, he's still looking for a chance to grab someone. Uh, he's chilling. Yeah, he's feeling very confident now. <laughs> yeah, he is. Ooh, Katomi. Nice try on fishing that one out. Impale, hook, it's gonna miss. Didn't quite have the range there, Pure. Hmm, I'm still trying to think. So again, they have gem on bat. We're reaching the state where Entity are getting pretty strong in the game. I think they understand this. If every time they go for this lasso, if there's no dark pack, that is just a clean kill. That's why if Liquid want to fight, they need to be the ones to go in first. They don't really have a real um, like way of turning. As Actually, when I look at Slark, the way, so his shard is really cool and it's not something we've seen all too often. I don't know if it breaks Lasso. It, it, it might. I, I could be wrong. I didn't see the interaction in the other games today. But this shard is very, very strong. Come on, Matty. Let's try and go in on this. As the Ice Blast connects, though, he's out. And Pure, he's going to see if he can maybe chase something off the side, but Boxy already out with the roll. I like what Matu is doing, but he, he needs backup. When he does this alone, it is too hard for him to commit for more than like two or three seconds, as we can see, right? He pounces on the post five. If Fishman gets to use his Ice Blast, Matu has to pop his ult and like pounce out. But this is where the Earth Spirit, where Boxing needs to come in, Mars needs to come in as Katomi. Slightly misses mid, hooks, spells flying everywhere. I mean, Liquid's gonna go in on this. Boxy rolls forward, he tries to roll back out, but he's gone. At least Boxy at the start of this fight, Matu is gonna try and make his way over towards Stormstorm, jumps with the pounce, he's, he's looking for Fishman. He wants this AA, Zai charges him with the BKB, Fishman should fall here, hook from Pure, catches onto Matu, then Matu's gotta step back, be careful of the rock damage coming out from this that this Pudge, as Pure moves in, grabs Zai with the Dismember. Zai trying to stay alive with the Siphons, but it isn't nice enough spear. to save him. Matu turns towards Katomi, but Pure's Ooh, got the blink up, blink jumps towards Pure. Matu, pulls him in with the hook. That's three dead on Liquid. Insane is getting run down under the tier two. He also looks to die. Four gone. Only Mickey to survive. And Pure, he may not even be done yet. So if he wants to go in for the dive, of course he does. Of course he does. Under the tower, Dismember's back up. Grabs Mickey, hooks Holy at the ready. Shit, it's gonna dude. be effectively a team wipe here <laughs> by Entity. Yeah, this guy is a monster player, man. My lord. I mean, I I can see what Liquid are going for there. Like, maybe it doesn't feel amazing how the game is going. Mato is like insanely, you know, just chasing on the AA because Ice Pass wasn't up yet, but Entity are playing too good for you to just take fights like this. Like, this is too random. You try to fish for a spear, you miss, and you keep rolling in. Nice reaction by Pure instantly goes in. So Boxy just basically gets washed out of this fight instantly. And then you, like, you start chasing. Whereas I, if Liquid want to win these fights, it has to be really clean. 
Their sure. lineup is not better than the enemies. We, they need a smoke, a nice clean jump, and take out these subs. Like when you take a random fight like this in this game, they will not win. Entity are playing too good. Their draft is coming together really well, and this Pudge is a huge, <laughs> he's a huge problem. This guy is Shiva's guard. He's now working on Sanj and Kaya. Um, this guy needs to be ignored. I know that it's not a good sign when you need to ignore the 18,000 network Pudge. But you need to ignore him, actually. You need to deal with these supports and then hope that he's alive alone at the end and your Slark gets to hit him. 20 million times in a row for all I care. I, I think it's going to need about that many to bring Pure down. 10 0. Right, se five. Second Roach is going to be the objective. How on earth do they stop this man? Yeah, the problem is they've reached a state where I think you, you can't stop him. You need to stop his team and hopefully then you get to do that. I I was also thinking if Matu could go a different item build. I'm not, like, I think Mage Slayer is not good because Pudge would just have BKB. Mm -hmm. I, I like the approach he took with like the super aggressive build and it could still pay off for him. What Liquid need to pray for right now is that this Roshan does not respawn. Uh, it will already in 20. It's, yeah. yeah, it's going to be up in 20. Silly, silly me. He will not have a BKB, I think, unless somehow Liquid can abuse buybacks for the next Zai, fight. kind of showing himself here on the mid. And uh, Zai's dead. Yeah. Went a bit far out on his own there. I guess didn't quite expect Entity to be as close as they were. And Entity's not done. They'll look to get yeah, another not grab out of this. They're in. They jump forward. They'll catch Boxy as well. As kind of in a... Maybe not quite as as drastic fashion as game one. That's all me. This one's trying starting to, to turn. And Matsu, I need to get sort of taken out by by Katsuomi, yeah, completely. But Shadow Dance is at the ready. Matsu will manage to sneak away. A 5k lead now for Entity. As you say, Pure just as soon as to be rolling in the items that are flying out to him in the mid. Get a grab on Fishman. See if they can get more. Matu's trying to go for Storm Storm, but just doesn't have the means to be able to stick on him. Has to bail out. Okay, we need. Um, they need this BKB on on Matu, and then I'm I'm still trying to find a way for them to fight properly because for en for Entity is pretty straightforward. They see an enemy. Pure can do whatever he wants. He can blink on a hero and then leave his keyboard if he uses. <laughs> his yeah, items. he can go in. He can go on anyone. But for, for Liquid, it really is going to take more than that to win a fight. And I believe, again, it's still the same story. They need a clean smoke, try to go around, and get these supports. Entity likely will understand this, perhaps save buyback on both the AA Nix. Again, we've reached a similar state to last game, where the second roach is super important. I think if Entity get it, it will allow them to clean the game. And if Liquid win the fight and get the Aegis, it's, it's their comeback back into the game. So for both teams, it's super crucial. It's the only thing they need to be talking about right now. Both teams know it's up, so it's really up to Liquid here what they're going to execute and what they're going to do in this next fight. Because they, st they still can do it. I'll say that they're absolutely not favored. Of course, they're behind in the game. I favor Entity's draft, but still. If you want to win tournaments, if you want to go to TI, you need to be able to win games that are not easy. And this is absolutely one of them. Smoke gets broken by Katomi. I mean, they're just a step ahead. Stormstorm has been able to get in with the grab. We'll see Pure. It's going to go straight for Mikke. Mikke will be able to put the BKB, but he's already lost about half his HP. See Fishman quickly throw out the Ice Blast. The arena does catch them. As they're bringing out the two supports, can they kill the cores, though, Liquid? Matsu, his own BKB is going to come to an end. He'll jump across the little towards Stormstorm, who's trying to kill Boxy. Boxy will stick around. And up to roll in onto him. Zai with the BKB runs down Toby's visage. Pure holds back Zai with the dismember. But Liquid getting the kills out of this. Can they get Pure as well? Boxy's able to They're roll and stop it, the TP. Will cost Boxy his life, but may set up for them to bring the Pudge down. It does. Liquid, they take down Pure. Nice play by them. I think they... Okay, they're mass buying back because they don't want to give up this Roche. Again, we see like both sides, they end up dealing a lot of damage with their course. Of course, this was a great fight for Liquid. Beautiful arena by Mikkei, getting to kill the subs early on. They somewhat got to kite the uh, Pudge in the fight, right? He's like, sure, he's in the middle. He is on one of two people, but DP can kind of stand his ground. As long as... So he... the start is kind of a little weird, right? The next he breaks your smoke. Pure has a nice jump on them. Lasso on the edge, maybe not the best target, but 
as the fight develops, we need to note this arena that gets on these supports and Z uh, Mato just getting straight in there, and now they blow up the supports. This is great by Liquid. This is exactly what they need to do. Yeah, Boxy as well, just getting in the face of them time and time again. So towards the end here, you know, realizing that he can help out Matu and get a little bit more out of this fight for Liquid. See, off the back of that Liquid, that pretty much equalized the situation dead even now. 21 to 21, less than 1k gold difference in it. Katomi will get a quick setup onto Insania as the action continues. Yeah, let's see what happens around this Roshan. He does have buyback, and again, Liquid gave themselves a win condition for sure here with this last fight. Entity had to use buybacks. So here, once again, Liquid are going to absolutely look to take this fight. 30 seconds on Exo, so every second that they can stall right now before engaging and committing into this fight is yep. crucial. Let's have a look. Mickey has got Arena BKB. Entity know they're definitely hesitant at trying to, to continue to finish this rush. They're going to smoke up and look to try and catch Liquid from the side, but at the smoke same time... Smoke. And Liquid know this sort of moves coming at them. DD Rune as well. Very nice. Oh, they're going to deal with the jump. They're in, but the arena's out straight away in return. Ice Blast comes out under the three of them. Matu pots the BKB. Mickey getting incredibly low as Pure able to take him out. Matu's got to be a bit careful now with BKB coming to an end. As Liquid, they've lost two. Pure won't quite be able to find the hook. Liquid. They really try and fight back into this. Zai steps back forward. Matu will be able to get the angle to jump back in onto Fishman. The AA out, but Zai does lose his life. Situation as it stands now, three versus three alive. Okay, two buybacks from, or well, one buyback from Liquid and two cores dead. Again, the next fight is gonna, all these fights, they're just because of Roshan. He still hasn't died yet, so we're gonna see a similar fight very soon, because it looks like Entity, they don't dare to go for the Rosh right now. They're not strong enough. Maybe now when the people are respawning, they might look to re-engage there and, well, again, force another fight. Matu is probably going to eye uh, Moonshard, I assume. He has one Hyperstone. I think, again, he needs to go all out on the damage, which is for Slark is coming from his attack speed by stealing stats, especially from this Pudge. And yeah, okay, Entity will end up taking this Roche. So the buybacks from earlier, very well spent. They get to basically nullify it straight up. Not only in Aegis for Pure, but also the Shard. So he can save his allies now as well. Now, how, how aggressive are you going to look to play if you're Entity now with this Aegis? Very. I mean, as long as they have a somewhat decent formation and Entity get to start any fight with the Pudge going in ham because he has Aegis and he's basically unkillable, or you have a good lasso, you can go at any time if you're Entity. Again, for them, it's a lot easier to execute. Whereas Liquid, they need a similar fight to the one that they had in the mid-tier one, uh, in the mid-river earlier, where you get to kill the subs and then you split up the fight. Pudge is only good in the one place he's standing, right? He's like 400 AoE damage, whatever. But if you can split the fight with your Slark and your DP who has pretty high movement speed to then kite around the Pudge and his BKB, that is how you can win this game. See them try and set up here Radiant's from, top tower from the triangle. Radiant's See what Liquid's response will be during these minutes with the Aegis that Pure has. It looks like for now it's not much until Entity Radiant's might decide to go high ground. Because so here in Entity's position, you either A, you force into this high ground really fast and you make them all come back, or your bad rider already goes to catch people on the map as mid. They have a little stun on Insania into a dive. I'm pure. Close one. Doesn't want to stick around and finish the kill with the TPs coming in. Insane is going to be able to survive that. Radiance top tower is under attack. Okay, Moonshard complete on uh, Matu. Basically, long fights is the win condition for Liquid. You need a very clean jump into a long fight where Matu gets to hit people. And what Entity want to do, they just want to have a clean jump very fast, like snap one guy out of the game. And if you get to do that, you basically nullify Liquid's ability to uh, fight you. Do they still have a gem on Entity? They do, right? I assume that the Bad Rider still has one. So this map is just going to keep shrinking as well. Long Storm. Ready to join them over towards the mid. Liquid getting very close. Who's the one to jump first, though? 
Matsu playing on the edge of the vision. As Katomi tries to scout this out, Matsu is is pretty separate from the the rest of the team. Does have Shadow Dance BKB Depth Shroud to rely on? So. See if Katomi can find anyone else around it. Zai did push out. Oh. See if Here's a nice little spot, actually. I like his hiding spot. I feel like I would never in my life check behind this big tree. <laughs> so he, sh he should be fine, at least for now. Go for one more wave and indeed get himself out of there before the Visage is able to come across and sweep the trees. So Storm Summer has an Octarine core. He just wants to be able to throw more lassos, higher range, lower cooldown. He's also eyeing his refresher and he's currently setting up in the top lane. We will see if he ends up wanting to go for it as Marsh shows as well. So they're going to chill. Ice Blast was thrown too, just for a potential play. See Mickey on it too. And Aegis is going to be there for that much longer. It's only one and a half more minutes here on Pure. Looks like the high grounding maybe feels a little odd with the heroes, and I can't really blame them as mid. Matamba. We'll find the timing, Storm Stormer. Outside of the Dark Pact and into the Dismember, Matu's gone. He's out for 80. He's out for 85, and he is short at the money for buyback here, Kezu. High ground has been opened up <laughs> with this pickoff. Nice play by Storm, you know, finding the... I mean, Slark, of course, he is a counter pick too bad, but it just takes this one second at some yeah. point in the mid to late game where he catches you without, you know, you having already pressed Dark Pact. So it's a very crucial death. It's gonna... It's the reason why they're able to go high ground now with this Aegis. And I'm not too sure how Liquid want to stall this out because he has no buyback for 50 and you don't have too many great plays here. You can maybe try to delay it into a spear back, but this Pudge is still scary even if he is in your tier 4s. Wow, I mean, look at this cat, Omi. It's already in with the jump. See Pure try and find the follow-up. Nice Stormcrafter. Quickly up into the air still, though Pure gets the dismember. He's yeah. just gets shattered. Here yeah, by the burst of damage they throw out upon him. He's dead for 70 as well. He himself does have buyback. Of course, the mid rack's already taken. We'll see how much more Entity want to try and push for Pure. We'll lose the Aegis in 10. Oh, they're going to force a buyback on DP. I'm not sure. I, I I don't see them really backing off right now. I feel like they're going to oh. stick around. Might able to find a catch there that time. Catch Lasso everybody. is back up. And he's in. Storm Stormer. He's able to get the jump in, and he's found a pretty big catch. He catches Mickey. But just remember to follow up, Mickey did manage to get the BK bot B off in that little bit of a burst and he's actually able to burst heal back up to full HP. And now Liquid's chance to turn, they'll look nice towards Pure, a second pounce to get in on top of the Pudge again, Pure goes down. There's damage flying over the way of Toby, Fishman will turn, throw out the Ice Blast, but Matu staying on top of him, will miss this pounce. Should have the chance to get back in or the TP out, is he going to make it? He is, Fishman actually able to escape. Toby will get left behind, trapped in the base. Liquid, they'll clear up two big kills on this defense. And as you can see there as well, Pure short of the money for buyback. Same to be said here for Toby. This is a long, long time without these two cores. Nearly 100 seconds. We'll see how much Liquid realized that there may be this opportunity to, to just shove it down a lane. Because this is quite yeah, the window. Was... Maybe a slight overplay here, so they get to drag in the Mars with the last. So Pure actually refreshes his, I think it was just the BKB, so that the Dismember would go into full duration. But here comes Matu with the Shard, and I think Mika just got to Satanic and swipe through, basically heal up to full. Yeah, and it... Liquid just got to chase through here. Matu getting a ton of stacks, which is, they're going to be live in the game right now too. So now, not only did they gain a lot of gold from this fight and XP, it's also this Pudge and Visage, they're out for 100 seconds. Your whole map is going to crumble, and this is definitely what, um, well, Liquid needed. Matu, even now, he's closer to his next item. He's going to build a Basher. It's pretty good. I I'm not sure if there's a better item for him at this point. Maybe, I feel like eventually this is a pretty nice uh, Bloodthorn or Scotty game because it's going to lower the healing from the Pudge or it gives you all this magic resistance, but I'm sure he knows better, so the Basher is going to help him a lot. as Boxy, catching bottom. Dead Nyx Assassin, Liquid. So now we're back into the game. In the mid though, Lasso into Ice Blast. Insania will pop. Just a little bit of ping pong with the Lasso into the Ice Blast, taking Insania out of the game. Uh, I assume that they retrieved the... No, they didn't kill the bat, so Entity are still holding onto their gem from earlier. But, you know, Liquid... 
this Zlark is getting pretty fat. He's queuing up a refresher, so he wants just more Shadow Dances, more Death Strouts. And I think when you do go for this, the condition for this item build to look good slash work is that, again, the condition hasn't really changed. This AA needs to die. You need to dodge the Ice Blast or you need to kill him. Because if you don't, then this refresher doesn't make all that much sense, right? Because they can still kill you through the cloud or whatever and your teammates too if they're Ice Blasted with the rod damage. But I can definitely see this one work out. BKB on Boxy as well now. Roshan, a couple of minutes until it's back in play. Long respawn. On either side, likely to look for anything too crazy whilst that, that objective does come back on the map. Nice. And the least though, Liquid will probably want to get something out here, scout sort of the situation around Rosh. Let that ward in the jungle of Entity. Giving them some decent information on who's hovering around. Entity are smoking, and Insania is trying to work on this Lotus Orb. When you play against Bad Rider, Lotus Orb is just a crucial item, especially with the longer the game goes, all this flame break and sticky talents, mid lane, Matu. Very close call for now. Maybe Insania not as lucky. Joe's gonna go in. That's the grab. Well, Death Shot is not saving you from that. Gonna get anything more though. Liquid, able to step back. Again, Entity, just continue to hold this area of the map around the Roshan. One minute for this Roshan. Definitely giving Liquid a little bit more time to talk about what they potentially want to do in this next fight. What do they think is important for them at the start of the fight? Who do they need to go on? Do they need to smoke around and take the outpost so that they have buybacks available for the immediate fight afterwards? Because for now, at least Ench is still dead. Uh, Roche, luckily for them though, is not quite up just yet. 40 more seconds. Because I, I still believe the team fights for Liquid have to be dealt through the same way. But the Entity might start to talk about the Slark a lot more with this Refresher and the Shard and the old. He's becoming a little bit annoying. It's just making it even more important that Entity have a good first go, a clean jump with the AA Blast. The Ice Blast is just crucial. So it's all about this post 5 getting to clutch out his spell in a good position and it can turn the whole fight around. Invisibility. I mean, Entity are very well set up here in this Roche area. You can tell just by their wards what they want to do. Smatu. So if they can time anything around that dark pact, won't be able to pounce. Too much of a distance created between him and Entity. Well, look for the smoke now, Liquid. Can they somehow get the catch that they want to start the fight off? Boxy, trying to scout things for the high ground. An immediate jump there. We'll see at the same time, Matthew commits him with the BKB on top they of the Get the arena down, Mick Cave burst buyback. the air, but the buyback's available from Fishman. Matu steps up, pops to Refresher, tries to stay on top of the Nyx Assassin. Katsumi will fall. Pierre jumps in, looks for the squishies, gets on top of Insania, will be able to deal with the Enchantress, now steps back towards Toby, and Storm's coming to try and help out the rest of the team. Pure charges down Zyz, the second one down on Liquid. Matu, he's out of mana, he's gonna be out of HP soon, he'll get cleaned up as well. Entity, they commit with the buybacks and they're able to take the team fight off the back of it. That was, I, I would say that was about as close as, as it could get in a fight like this. As they even chasing on Boxy, he's barely gonna get out. So they roll in at the start of the fight, drop a great ward from Boxy on the high ground. Sadly, it immediately pretty much gets killed. But this is the, in my opinion, if they take this fight by maybe smoking a little bit earlier and taking the outpost, they can win this fight. Because Entity won this fight simply and only because of the back of their buybacks in this fight. They bought back three heroes. Uh, Liquid were actually outplaying them in the start of the fight. But the longer the fight went, buybacks come out, and even with their nice play in this fight, Entity's heroes are too durable, especially with their teammates coming back, pure in the front, dealing tons and tons of damage, and now Roche into the high ground. And I'm not really sure what's going to be stopping them. Uh, they're going to take these towers down pretty quickly. Again, Matu, short on the money for buyback. Insania's going to get grabbed. He's also down. 
And can we put the BKB? It's going to be up to him and Boxy to try and hold this back, but Boxy dies. He has buyback. And Matu's still down for 25 seconds. Zai's still out for 30. As Mikke will try his best, drops down the arena, but he gets grabbed. He'll use the buyback, but the Ancients exposed. Entity, they're closing this one up, and there's nothing that Liquid can do. As GG is called, Entity will take the series 2-0 and secure themselves a spot in the Grand Finals of the Western Europe Regional Qualifiers. These guys are <laughs> really good. They play with such confidence. It... It's honestly beautiful to see. I think Liquid, with what they had going, they held onto the game very well. Uh, again, I would say that Matu, considering the game he was playing,